If you take a 12 volt relay with normally closed contacts, by the way, it's better to get a powerful one like this, and also a film capacitor around 1 microfarad and rated for 400 volts, plus a rectifier diode of type 1N4007. Next, if you assemble everything exactly according to the provided diagram, you'll get a simple high voltage power source. When the device is connected to a 12 volt battery, current will flow through the closed contacts of the relay and it will operate. The contacts will instantly open, cutting off the current to the coil, and the relay will relief. Then it will activate again and so on, at quite a high frequency. This is a simple current interrupter. And the coil is an inductor, and due to the phenomenon of self-induction, at the moment the current is turned off, it will release the stored energy in the form of a self-induction spike. And the EMF of self-induction is many times greater than the supply voltage. The voltage of self-induction has the opposite polarity. This is where the reverse connection of the diode comes in. The voltage will accumulate in the capacitor, and somewhere in a couple of seconds of operation we will get 200 to 300 volts of voltage. If this isn't a cool enough stun gun, check out the pinned comments in description. There are links to some cool homemade shockers.